Welcome to the Red V TV Instant Fan Reaction, supported by A Star Recruitment for the 2022 season. As we reflect on Saints reaching yet another grand final with a 19 points to 12 victory this afternoon over the Leeds Rhinos. Boys, did you enjoy that? Yeah, I think it was really good. Are you excited for next week? Yeah, it's been the men, but yeah, I think we're going to win. Who was your man of the match today? Uh, probably Joe Batchelor. Joe Batchelor with a double. Um, absolutely amazing. And then the, the try from John Benison to Sealy? Well, yeah, after that try, everything just went off, and then that was it, then we won. That was it. Next week, Leeds Rhinos coming up. Do you think we're going to win? Yeah, we should do, definitely. Because we're just a better team than anyone in the league. And without Bevan French and Jai Fields, I don't think we're going to do anything to us. Good job we're not playing them then, isn't it? <laughs> um, you going to the grand final next week? Yeah. Are we going to win? Um, yeah. 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 Don't even think yeah. about it. <laughs> Say yeah, you're not inviting them, baby. <laughs> <laughs> right, ten years down the line, are we going to see any of you three on the pitch? Oh yeah, definitely. Me, um, uh, six. You at six? Where I'm are you playing? Full back. Full back. Are you playing as well? Uh, yeah, yeah. They'll be on the wing. Yeah, right. they'll be on the wing. You boys, you better keep practicing. Where's Mr. Pender? Who else? Who else is coming on? Who's coming on? Who's coming on? Come on, we've got four that want to come on. If Who? not, I'll talk. I'll talk some rubbish. See you later, boys. See you later, boys. See you next week. See you later. We've got a singer. We've got a singer. Are we going to win next week? Yes. <laughs> That's all you need to know. The confidence is there. We <laughs> are. It's like Red V TV Junior. Evie. This way. Hi. Can't me, get the staff. Yeah, my first thoughts are um, we played Salford rather than Leeds as you introduced it, and I thought Salford. <laughs> I thought Salford. <laughs> Leeds on the brain. Uh, while, while it was a tough match, you, you think of their tries. They came from a sim binning and a mistake on the last where we ball should have gone in the corner. I think they were. They're a tough, tough opponent. They brought a great number of people as well. Yeah, the support. You'd love to see that every time they come down here. Hopefully they'll get behind them and will come down in, in good numbers. Um, if anything, my overriding thought is I'm relieved just to get through that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think I said on the previous show, that is not a game you could aff afford to fall behind in. And I think we started with really, really good intensity. The defensive line was spot on. There was very few, if any, handling errors in that first half. Yeah. And it gave us a platform to build on. Yeah, it certainly did. And that's it. When you when you get oh, two, man, you <laughs> when you get like the, the two tries that we did that we could kind of build that platform on your right, you can start controlling it. And we were talking about how you control the game and how you control the field position. It's a different thing to playing in a regular round of Super League where you've got to manage the game once you get to finals footy as our mate John Lewis would like to uh, keep calling it but that, you do you play a different type of rugby you don't play the the expansive stuff really it's very rarely you can get to do that Salford lost Andy Akers early on with the head knock that's obviously it has affected them hasn't it they've been a man down and, and one of their key players gone early in the game um, but they still took it to us yeah. proper semi-final yeah, rugby yeah. wasn't yeah, it yeah yeah that's it, it They've still got strike from all over the pitch. You look at Lafayette, you look at Mark Steed, tillering them round the park. They, they're unlucky that Andy Akers goes off because then they, they might turn around and think, well, we, we'd have sneaked that if we'd have had a full team out there. Maybe, if Sputs, we'll never know. Um, it's Listen, it's tough for them, but you can only play the team that's out there, can't you? Were you worried slightly when we, when we didn't score with that early possession? Um, you always want points on the board. I think the, the more worried was in the second half when we were camped on their line and a couple of people around us said you've got to come away with points here and we didn't and then ended up conceding um, when, when they made the breakaway down the left. That was the, what, what the period of the game that I was more worried about rather than in the first half because again we were managing it. Yeah, you look back at the game last night where we're going to obviously dominated the first half and, and not come away with the win. So, sorry, Salford fans saying they were robbed, it was an eight-point drive. Well, there was no way he was getting that ball down. No, you, no. 
it, it wasn't it, it wasn't fouled in the act of scoring because it, it wasn't it, but it, it wasn't fouled in the act of scoring was he was and, and there was no guarantee he's going yeah. to be able to reach that ball and put it down yeah. the ball was gone yeah so no Shut I mean, up. I, I, <laughs> from behind the thing and I, get on <laughs> no no you can't I'm sorry you, you can't you can't claim that for me I, I don't think so he, and the other one was Blayton crossing yeah I yeah, will I will read it in the papers yeah. um, Kev at what point were you nervous in that second half when they when they scored, I think the um, the player from us were. I, I, I think we, I, did, did we knock on and then they've gone and yeah. gone down that left edge and ripped us to bits. Really, um, you mentioned earlier just about uh, Lafay. Listen, Cameron all got a bit of a battering after the Salford away game where Lafay bullied him. Conrad all had Lafay in his pocket for the significant majority of that game today. And I think that just shows the benefit of finishing top and having a week off. He has absolutely pulverised that lad today. He, I, look, he, he, he's, he's not in the tackle, he's, he's, a, bit, he's a bit out there, he's, he, he moves a lot. But Conrad Orrell has, has, had, has had an outstanding game for me. And do you know, and... There was a lot of talk pre-match about um, the Sione Percival combination. It looks to me like those lads have been playing for the last 15 weeks because it they just did not look out of place. You would kind of half it, you'd half expect that. Did tire towards the end, it didn't. If anything, I thought Sione just grown in confidence. I thought Percy did too. John Benison, let's just have a word on John Benison because he does. With his Jack Wellsby esque finish. <laughs> well, there's a potential that he's probably going to miss out next week if Hopper's fit. But do you know what? He has been absolutely outstanding today. He's been solid. I'll always go back and I'll always frame this. The very first tackle John Benison took in for us against Wigan. We caught the ball, we gave it to Benison. Benison ran it in and he absolutely pulverised. Remember, right in front of us, and everyone said, Why is he taking that first tackle? And today he's carried from the back with absolute integrity, determination. He's a different player than he was six months ago. What's he going to make in six months' time? And then See, six months after that, he's, he's just now, brilliant. You talk about John Benison potentially missing out next week, but I think we're going to have disciplinary cases to potentially answer during yeah. the week. Um, Morgan Knowles, Kev, um, seeing yellow in the first half. Will we hear more about that one? Yeah, probably. Um, I don't think it's going to be missed by the disciplinary. Whatever happens, happens. Um, I don't think I'm not going to start speculating on whether he'll get banned or not. It, but he'll get banned. With but with yeah, the with bad. the likes of um, you mentioned, John Benison drops out. If need be, then you've got Sione to move into the pack. Benison could Benison play wing. Yeah, yeah, Sione, you, yeah, you've yeah. got a couple of options, there, and you've got James Bell, who once again has come on all action display. Possibly not as shining as he was against Toulouse, but has still come on and done his job in the middle and been good at his job in the middle. It, it was it was edgy, wasn't it? It was it was an edgy game, and I, for me, I think when um, when Belly came on, he, he tackles everything that moves, doesn't yeah. he? But I think last, not last week, the week before against Toulouse, he was a little bit more playing in the middle. He was trying to throw the ball about a bit. Do I think Knowles is going to get a ban? I've not, I've not seen it personally myself, but I've spoken to two or three people who say it's, it's stupid and it's reckless. Don't use that word. Say so you've not, you should have stopped when you, you should have been like him. <laughs> yeah, I said when you've not seen. Yeah, I'm going to make their decisions based on what they see on Red VTV. But <laughs> you've got faith, haven't you? Well, it is, it is. Why has he done what he's done? He was having a great game. So we needed him in the middle. Listen, the only the defence for me is he's not taking him to ground. He's he's, he's pulled on the arm, but he's he's let go. So and, and listen, if if Mike Ross needs a um, and a collection of videos to prove that that's not a, a, a game ban or a two game ban, he'll have it. He'll be working on it tonight. Let's um, let's take a little moment just to celebrate the impact that. Our number 10 has had today. He yeah. played 51 minutes straight. Okay, yeah. he had his half time. 51 minutes as a prop for. So, okay, we've lost Alex Wormsley. Matty Lees, bow your head. A Dothmouth cap to you. You have been outstanding today. And he's just carried on, carting it in. Not only is he carting it in, his tackling was outstanding. Pars it naturally tired after 2025 because he's not used to that intensity of the first 20 minutes. LMS has come on, done a job. Jake Wingfield's done a job. 
this lad, Christian Wolf, whoever he is, he's got it right, hasn't he? He's <laughs> absolutely got it right. To be fair, he picked the same team we did. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the worry with Matty Lees is obviously he's limped off after the accidental clash at the end. The, camp, the one where Chris, sorry, the one where Chris Kendall has gave a high shot when. He's connected with his shin bone. This candle should have been done for obstruction early on in the in the, uh, in the game. He should be. He shouldn't. He's not going to ref that next. Liam Moore's going to ref that game next week, isn't he? So, but listen, if the camera looks shoddy today, will we? <laughs> we do apologise. We're at we're at Old Trafford, which is what we wanted. Yeah. We didn't want Salford in any in any way, shape, or form in the playoffs, and we've dispatched them. Salford in that playoff series are the form team. Of course they are, and and do you know what? Credit to the fans, so I watched last night's game and um, Lula Lai, one of the best servants to this game ever, after the game gets zero reception from his own fans because they've been beat. Salford had three and a half thousand in that stand today and every single one of them stayed to yeah. the end to clap their team off. Proper team, proper yeah. fans. Number one team in Greater Manchester? Well, 100% in my opinion because, I mean, that Lula Lai thing last night is disgusting, but anyway... It's not Channing White TV, this. It's You're, not, it's not. You'll be with John Lewis on yeah, NRL TV. Yeah, no, 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 I'm, I'm not going to mention those three letters because that's, that's um, all I am. Right, thinking of next week, that was the best possible warm-up we could have in terms of intensity. Yeah, they, they, they throw the ball around. They can, and they've shown as well that they can score tries from nothing because I, I think the first try was forward. It was bang on where we sit. It was flat or forward. We were probably a little bit disjointed by the decision that had been made just before it, with Morgan going off. The second try, I, I don't know. I don't quite know what Johnny was doing there. I don't. I don't know if it wasn't supposed to go to him or not. But we, I, I think we panicked, and that that'll teach us next week that look Leeds. Everyone's everyone's talking about the the history with Leeds and where we are now and where they are. Leeds in in the in. Oh, 9, 10, 11, whatever. We're a very different team than they are now. Equally, they'll think they can win it from fifth. And do you know what? They can. They can. They it's, can. it's an 80 minute game. It is. Just like today was. They're, it's, it's a. Yeah, it's a one-off game. It can yeah. go either way. If Leeds defend like they did last night, they'll be a tough nut to crack. Second half there. I think we lost our way a little bit at times in attack, and we we weren't finishing sets maybe how we should. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, and that's it. As Kev says, the, the second try comes from that, where Johnny gets it, gets caught, kind of steps, and then gets caught just before he can get his kick away. If you've got a little bit more time there, do they score from that? Probably. Well, they don't. They don't start throwing it out like that. You've probably got a set line. And yeah, it just as I say, the time I was worried was in the second half when we're camped on their line and not converting. That possession and that territory into points. Um, is we, that sorry? Is that big drop goal at the end of the first half vitally important? So just, just so so say, it's yeah, not exactly. so it's yeah. not twelve all, yes. and we're not, and we're looking to pop drop goals over, and, yeah. and because we've still got that lead, we can afford to still be going for the try. That's game smarts from Johnny Lomax, is, isn't it? I mean, we you were calling for it anyway up there. We've got yeah. to we've got to score on this set. We've got to come away with at least a point, and it, that's what we did. I think it. It's, for me, it's not adopted enough in rugby league. If you if you watch anybody who watches the NFL, being a number of scores ahead is deemed import, more important than it seems to be in rugby league. Times like for me, being seven points instead of six, it's a two score game instantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's two sets where the team has got to break you down. Um, so yeah, massive for me. Um, Mark Percival, wonderful. Months out, doesn't look like he's missed a beat. Wonderful, wasn't he? Every time, every time he gets the ball. He, you're just looking and wondering, is he going to get out to this tackle or can? Do you know what? He carried it really. I think, I think he he just adds extra value to. I think a lot of our success, Holbrook started this and and Wolves continued it. A lot of our success has been on what the back line does, how to d, yeah. how to add yards on your own ten on twenty, and Perse, Sione, Tommy, we expect it from. Some of Horrell's carries today were just yeah. absolutely unreal. 10, 15, 20 yards, just kept going, kept going, kept going. And every time Percy took the ball in and made contact, I'm thinking, please get up, please get up, please get up. Because, but do you know what? I think Mull's made, he's made a massive stroke. He wouldn't have played him if he wasn't right. He's clearly right because he's come through 80 minutes. He's had, he's, had a, he's had a good game, solid in attack, great in D. I think Sione has been, been brilliant as well. I think the, the shot Jack Wells be put on, 
early doors was just set the tone for that left edge. That, Boom. Left, that left edge itself, when you look at Wells Bear, Sione, um, uh, Sirenin, when you look when you look at that left edge as a unit, good God, I would yeah. not want to run just, at that. Just going, I would not want to. Just run. going back to Percival, his first run in this game, he ran straight. A- absolutely ran straight and hard. Just literally straight down the middle. Didn't start arcing off. Just must have been thinking, I'm going to put myself through this. I'm going to just take this first hit in, see how it goes, set the tone for the rest of his game. And Red V TV rolls on for yet another week. <laughs> They get the money worth out of us these last four years. Have we, have we had any? We have, we've hardly had a week off. No. We're I knackered. We're knackered. Yeah. What, 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 what Anyway, um, the Wigan fans said we wouldn't beat them in a grand final. They would be correct. <laughs> <laughs> they had their glory a couple of weeks ago. Morgan Smithies rubbing heads. I hope he enjoys next week because win or lose, preferably winning. We'll enjoy dance. the day. Yeah. We're at the big dance once again because that's what champions do. We will catch you next week for another episode of Red VTV. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.